Hello everyone, this is Macro. Why? 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 Let it just fucking die already. Everyone knows what, what I'm probably more likely talking about. Sorry Monica, sorry Sabbat, sorry Sean, sorry everyone else at Funimation, but I've had fucking enough. Go ahead. Send this to your lawyers. Just go ahead. It's not that I can do anything for here in the UK. I'm just basically speaking my opinion on this entire situation. You've been debunked quite a few times. And I'm seeing it pretty much all over my timeline that it's making me physically sick. I can't cover this anymore. The whole entire community is fucking torn asunder. Monica, I know we've met two, three times in two years, right? You pretty much fucking know me. You and I speedily talked mano y mano about who I'm to sue when she passed away. And that was like last year that we talked. You and I were being so humble with each other, even when you had to go to Digicon, Digicon 4, because you had to fly, fly back out to the US and then fly back in, like, it seemed rather pointless. And you agreed with me on that. That was simple logic. I, I run by logic, right? You're, I've, I've seen all your Twitter posts. I, I'm not going to screenshot them here because obviously it's not my thing. Even though it's already been done many, many times. Sure, you can say that we don't owe you anything. But thing is, like a great man once said, and you can probably know who I'm talking about, probably most YouTubers will, no one is immune to criticism. Any allegation must be criticised in a constructive way. I think, in my personal opinion, even though I am standing beside Vic Mignola, because I sent him an email not that too long ago, basically giving me my humblest apologies and also my congratulations for lawyering up. Get ready. Because more likely, Funimation, you're more likely going to be sued for defamation and, of course, for wrongful dismissal. And you guys will more likely will count sue for your sexual allegations. And of course, with the sexual allegations, you have to be put through the polygraph test. I think those tweets are now going to come back and start biting you in the backside. I'm not swearing here because I've had enough of this crap. This is the only time where I don't swear that everything just becomes fucking pathetic. The whole entire community based on one post from Anime News Network on Vic Mignogna because one of their employees was getting shit canned for their own sexual assault. Well done. You ruined a man's career. And I'm going to quote what I said on my Twitter. You drama queens. And, um, Jamie Marachi? I don't like you. At all. I don't really want to meet you because of what you've said before and you might say oh no this is photoshopped no it isn't we can probably everything on the internet is archived everyone you should know this everything on the internet is fucking archived and it will literally bite you in the ass karma's gonna get you at some point and it will. It will and it will come down hard. Right? Say, believe the victims. Yeah, okay. Sure, I believe some of them, but I'm allowed to see a polygraph test. Do you know what? This may have to be held in court of law, and we probably won't see that till the light of day, but I was still allowed to see one. I would like everyone at Funimation, including Vic Mignogna, to all agree to a polygraph test. 
This is the only way that this can be resolved between the lies and the truth. I know a very, very little about law, but I can understand the concept. Anyone that has been admitted for sexual assault, they have to go through a polygraph test. Every single one. To prove whether or not they are actually guilty or not guilty. And of course, you talking about it and you basically sending this to your lawyers and sending it to a team of cybercrime? Trust me, I'm not I'm not sending any threats at all. All I'm saying is you're doing something just as bad. You originally were going to sound off on this, but no, you decided to bloody megaphone it like to hell. Monica, please. I'm not even crying. I'm just frustrated over this whole entire situation. Anime news, but what you're more likely going to be taken down for defamation of character. Uh, Mars Girl, you're more than likely going to be taken down for defamation of character. And Rooster Teeth is more likely probably going to be wrongful dismissal. That's where I see this is going for. And this is against human rights also because Lost Pauls has covered this, Yellow Flash has covered this, the, the Umbrella Guy has covered this, Hero Hay has covered this. Right now, this whole situation makes me want to actually smash my face against the brick wall. And I'm covered in like eight or so corners of it. And of course, I am going to London, I mean, Gamescom, where I'm meeting Tia, Tia and of course Felicia, who are on the other side of the opposition. But am I going to bring up? No. Because I want to have a good time. And I'm pretty sure you guys want to have a good time by April for KameoCon and by August for KameoCon 2. So I'm not going to talk about any more about this situation. Because this is pretty much my opinion. This whole entire situation's fucking stupid. And you all know it. You're just dragging it for the mud for no reason. Let it go to court. And let there be a polygraph test. I want to know the results. I may not know the evidence, but I want to know the fucking results. Bye.